two, one. Hello, Kim. Thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it. Oh, I've just been such a fan of you for such a long time, and uh, it just felt really good to fu get fucked by you and your friends um, before the show started. I wasn't planning on having sex with anyone before I came over, especially since I'm on my period, but... Uh, you guys fucked me really good, uh, you and the few of your friends, and uh, my asshole is fucking killing me now, but uh, definitely worth it, even though my asshole fucking hurts. Yeah, well, you were in a fucking melee. There's three other dudes in there blasting. Oh, I know, it was fucking insane, and there's that one guy that kept saying, you know, does your dad know you're a fucking whore, you fucking prostitute? And I'm like, I'm not a prostitute. I'm a whore, but I'm not a fucking prostitute. And he said, you're dead. does your father know? I'm like, my father's dead. I don't want anybody's daughter to be a prostitute, but I'm also 100% in favor of people being able to do whatever the fuck they want. And if someone's in a weird stage in their life where they'd rather jerk guys off than work at Denny's, like who's anybody to stop them from doing that? The only problem is the social stigma that's attached to it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a prostitute, but I, uh, I do love drinking cum, and that's basically, I mean, the act of drinking cum, I just, I love it. It's so good. The actual act itself is, it's beneficial. The, the person gets something out of it. Yeah, and I think the the best thing about it is it's a drink. And you drink it because it comes out of the pee hole when you jerk the dick off and you get cum. And your friends come, they, well, they had humongous cocks and they had so much cum. Look at the size of those guys. <laughs> I noticed that Jamie kept j knocking Jeff's cock out of your mouth when Jeff was kind of Jeff was trying to shove his dick in your face while you guys were fucking. What well, what was up with that? He seemed really aggressive sexually. That's why I have to kick Jeff out every now and then just so Jamie and I go one on one. One on one. Last time I fucked him up and he he quit. That's really interesting because I mean today when we were when we were all fucking each other, you were going after Jamie, but it seemed like you couldn't get harder. You know, you were having a really difficult time fucking him or at least getting your dick in his ass. It seemed like seemed like more of a failure on your part than than Jamie's, honestly. Just make it more more vicious. Yeah, I mean I imagine it was pretty embarrassing. I would have been embarrassed if I were you. I mean you couldn't even get them to come. You couldn't get them to come. You didn't make me come. I, 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 don't, I don't know what was wrong with you. I, I obviously didn't do a good job. I need to figure out what the fuck I did wrong and batten down the hatches and get this ship right. Right. It's a ruthless experience. It's, um, it's, it just uh, rips you down and, and shreds all your self-worth. Right. I've, I follow some pages like that have classic cars or something like that, and then I'll see them, and most of it is just right. photographs you, of cars, like beautiful old cars, and Joe, it'll we have, you know, they'll have a, a giant following, and then all of a sudden something will get political, and, now you're talking about cars. and I'll, I'll look at it and go, oh, wow, like this is listen probably me, one of those weird idiot. accounts. Like, they're getting you're ignoring, people you're changing the subject, to get engaged with it because it represents Fuck something you, they're interested in, like classic muscle cars. We're talking about and sucking then dick. they use it for Fuck activism. They use it for to, to get this narrative across.